Now, as soon as I saw the Nike bra. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be testing out two similar products which is the Nika Micro Fine Pencil as well as the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Now these both are extremely similar and I've already done a review on this one as well as two other products of the Nika Brow Affair collection. Now if you have not watched that, do check it out. I will link it up above as well as down on the description box below. Now as soon as I saw the Nika Micro Fine Pencil, it was like deja vu because it was so similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz as well as the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Now the Anastasia one is not available in India, so I thought why not compare it with the NYX one. Now before I can compare it and test it out, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload. And now let's jump right into the video. Now let's start off with the NYX one and this has about 0.09 grams of product and there are two shades that are available which is brunette and espresso. I have is espresso which is the darker out of the two and I am very sure that there are more than two shades available worldwide and also this is priced at 875 Indian rupees. Now when we compare it to the Nika one, this has about 0.9 grams of product and it is priced at 475 Indian rupees which is 400 rupees less than the NYX one and they have only one shade right now which is Wiccan Wand. Now for the packaging it is extremely similar and the Nika one comes in a brown kind of uh, packaging and the NYX one comes in a black packaging but otherwise you can see that the spoolie is similar, the Nika one is a little bit more shorter and the other tip end where the product is, it is extremely similar as well. Now when you compare the shades, uh, there was not much to work with because Nika has only one shade wherein the NYX one that I have is Espresso which is a bit of a darker shade. But this neutral brown color is the Nika one and this one right here is a NYX one which is a little bit more warm brown. Now the formula wise, I feel that the NYX one is more pigmented, like this is the NYX one. And this is the Nika one. Now when I compare the pigmentation, I feel the NYX is a little bit more pigmented. That also could be because of the shade and not because of the formula. But I feel the formula is pretty much bang on dupe because they both are waxy and creamier and easy to blend at the same time. Now I just only wish that the Nika one comes with more shades like this is a very neutral brown. I hope they come with like a darker brown or a warm brown color so that would be great. Now also the other thing is this is like my fourth NYX product. It's the fourth time that I have bought it. I mean this is almost over right now. It's very little bit of product is remaining but for the price point, I never wanted to buy it again. The reason is because this baby gets over really, really fast. Like if I apply it five days a week or maybe even six days a week, it gets over for me in a month or month and a half. And for that period of time, spending 875 bucks every time, that is too much of money for me. Oh, the last detail that I forgot to mention is that the Nika one has vitamin E and argan oil in them. That's that. So now let's jump into the application of the products. So I'm going to be testing out the product like how I usually do apply my makeup which is eyebrows first and then is the base makeup and uh, also I just have is on a lipstick which is NYX Soft Matte in Leon. It is such a pretty beautiful shade, right? Okay. Let's jump into this. So I'm going to be testing out the NYX one on my right side and on the left side will be the Nika one. So I'm going to start with the right side first. And as usual, I'm going to hmm, I'm going to use the spoolie and brush my eyebrow hair up. So I'm going to start from here for the bottom eyebrows and just And now I'm going to fill it in. And now I'm going to use the spoolie end and blend everything. And that's it. One eyebrow down. 
Now, I usually don't use a concealer, otherwise it will look much more defined, I get that. But on a realistic level, on an everyday basis, I do not use a concealer to clean up the eyebrows, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Now, moving on to the left side, which is my shitty eyebrows. You see how patchy this is? It doesn't grow over here whatsoever and it's much more thinner in general compared to my other eyebrow. Now everything is the same process. That's okay. Now just blend everything out. So this side is the NYX one and this one is the Nika one. What do you guys think? Now formula wise, right off the bat, I feel that the NYX is a little bit more creamier and pigmented and the pigmentation I feel it could be because of the shade because it's much more of a warmer brown so it does tend to look a bit more darker than the cool toned neutral kind of a brown which is the Nika one. Now apart from that, the only drawback that I see from the Nika one is that it is so creamy and easily blendable that when I use a spoolie it could kind of blend away the product that makes sense because i do have like a patchy uh, spot like a ball spot on my eyebrows right here so if i go over it and blend more it will like literally remove the product off you get it yeah okay <laughs> Oh, and there is one last difference that I found. It's on the packaging. The Nika cap, it's a little bit flimsier. Like, wait. That's it. Wherein the NYX one is much more tighter. You heard the click? So that's a bit more tighter than the Nika one. So that's what she said. So if you do ask me which one to choose, I think hands down it will be the Nika one. The reason is because of the price point. This is literally 400 rupees less than the NYX one and it does the same job. It is really good. It's an amazing dupe. So this is hands down the winner when you compare it with the NYX one. And that is it. And this wraps up today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any requests or questions. I'll try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials, which is It's Nishanayar on Instagram and It's Nishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye. Thank you.